Let's consider the four areas of scientific studies which strongly point to reincarnation. 1. Hypnotically induced past life memories. 2. Spontaneous past life memories. 3. Near death experiences and out of body experiences. And 4. The phenomenon of consciousness. Let us consider the first hypnotically induced past life memories. When trained hypnotists help people to recollect their past going back to their childhood, infancy and earlier, research has shown that more than 90% of all hypnotizable persons furnish memories that indicate previous lives. The past life is accessed through accessing the subconscious. And sub, because subconscious has all the memories, perfect memory bank, from the time we started our journey as a human being. Let's turn to the second, spontaneous past life memories among children. I worked with several children. They all remembered their last life. It was amazing. And then when they go to school, they sort of get brainwashed and forget it. Only later, 20 or 30 years, should they ex experience some spontaneous memory or undergo hypnotic uh, experience, do they remember? But my experience with children is up until they go to school, almost all of them had some glimmer and could tell me what they were, who they were, and what they did in their past life. Let's move on to the third among the scientific evidences for reincarnation. Near-death experiences, NDEs, and out-of-body experiences, OBEs. Near-death experiences, or NDEs, are experiences of extraordinary visions and perceptions during periods of unconsciousness among people who are medically dead or nearly dead due to causes like accidents, diseases, surgeries, or attempted suicides. These people returned from the dead or the near dead to tell us their amazing experiences. NDEs and OBEs have been investigated by researchers from across the globe. All of us people investigating near-death experiences see the same pattern of elements. Often one of the first things to happen at that, right after that life-threatening event, often the first element of a near-death experience is what's called an out-of-body experience. Consciousness separates from the body and goes over the body. From that vantage point, they can see ongoing earthly events, which may include their own frantic resuscitation efforts. After that, they may go into or through a tunnel. Often at the end of the tunnel is a beautiful, mystical, unearthly light. And then once they pass into that area of light, they may be in unearthly landscapes. Uh, often they're described as being beautiful without any comparison on Earth. There may be colors there that are so beautiful that they don't even exist on Earth. They may hear music so lovely that it is beyond anything possible on Earth. In these unearthly realms, they may have what's called a life review, where they see part of their prior life. They may see their deceased loved ones. They may have joyous reunions that they people they knew on Earth who died. And then ultimately, at the end of their experience, they often have to make a decision about returning to their earthly life or not. Could the mind which splits apart from the physical brain be, in essence, the soul, which continues to exist after final bodily death, according to some religious doctrines? Let's now discuss the fourth scientific evidence for reincarnation, the phenomenon of consciousness. Many scientists today assume that consciousness is produced by the brain, but this assumption has neither been demonstrated experimentally nor explained theoretically to any reasonable degree of satisfaction. But now uh, in, there's an increasing number of scientists in various fields who dare openly 
to challenge this old uh, paradigm. And uh, we're moving toward what some have started to call a post-materialist paradigm. Uh, and now meetings are, are being organized and books are being prepared uh, with regard to this uh, post-materialist paradigm. So um, I can predict that it's only a matter of decades before we have a new scientific revolution. And this time it will be about mind, consciousness and spirit. And it will be probably the most important conceptual revolution that we've ever had in the history of uh, humankind. Thus, scientific studies in these four fields offer strong evidence for the existence of a soul different from the body. No wonder that Austrian scientist Rudolf Steiner remarked, just as an age was once ready to receive the Copernican theory of the universe, so is our age ready for the idea of reincarnation to be brought into the general consciousness of humanity. For reincarnation to come to the forefront of global human consciousness, humanity needs a systematic understanding of the soul and its reincarnation.